This is a question I like. I never practiced religion before. Is the idea that before Easter we must prepare our hearts a biblical teaching? Well, the short answer is no. It is not a biblical teaching. But before we end the uh, answer to the question, perhaps I can give you a little more information uh, about this. Easter, of course, is the time of the year uh, when we commemorate, first of all, the death of Christ, the burial of Christ, and then wonderfully, the resurrection of Christ. And we have much, much detail in scripture about what we would call the Easter weekend. But we also have, particularly in John's gospel, a lot of information about what happened just during the few days leading up to the Easter weekend. For instance, the Sunday before, uh, that was Palm Sunday. That was when Jesus rode into uh, Jerusalem on a, a donkey and the crowds came out and welcomed him and recognized who he was. The same crowd that a few days later turned on him and howled for his execution. So the, the week before Easter starts uh, with the uh, with the, the day that we call Palm Sunday. And there's more to that than just having kids in the church service waving some palms around. It's a reminder of the fact that Jesus came and was making a statement about being Messiah, uh, fulfilling an Old Testament prophecy. But at the same time, he, whilst the people were celebrating him, he was weeping over Jerusalem because he knew what was going to happen. Then uh, the next two days of Easter week, we, we don't have a lot of information, but then on what we would call the Thursday of Easter week, he met for, with his disciples uh, for the Last Supper. And he did something very special at that supper. You remember, he washed the feet of his disciples and he said to them, now I've given you an example. If you know these things, you will be blessed if you do them. So uh, if, we're going to, uh, if we're going to build up some remembrance or some preparation for Easter, it's good to remember Palm Sunday. It's good to remember what we call Maundy Thursday. Then, of course, the solemn day of Good Friday when Jesus was crucified. And then a quiet day on Saturday when he lay in the tomb. And then a glorious day of celebration on uh, Easter Sunday. Now, we, we, we don't have to set up a specific program, but each of these things are worth uh, remembering. We need to contemplate on them and apply the lessons of them to our daily lives. <laughs>